Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do something really chill today because I'm in a really chill mood. I wanted to film doing makeup. I didn't want to go too extra with everything, but I probably am going to go a little extra with everything. Let's go ahead, let's jump in this video and let's get this makeup done. Bye. 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 I just moisturized my face, combed my eyebrows up, and I trimmed them too so that they weren't crazy. I'm gonna use the Smashbox primer for the finish. I'm just gonna do it like this. I used to just use um, Benefits Professional, but I don't like the consistency of it anymore. I don't know if you feel that way. Next up, I'm gonna be using the NARS foundation. It's a new foundation that I've been using and I have with this stuff, I don't have to use much at all, which is amazing, because usually if you've seen my other videos, I have to use a little bit more foundation with L'Oreal. Let's go ahead and blend this in. I'm taking my trusty BH Cosmetics brush. Look at how pretty that is, huh? And that's not even a lot. No potential skin. Look at how flawless that looks. <laughs> I love that foundation so much. Let's do eyebrows. Same old, same old. Anastasia Brow Wiz, this is medium brown. I'm gonna take this spoolie and just kind of push my eyebrow hairs up. You guys have probably seen me do this so many times. You're like, I wanna see you do this again. I really like this pencil because it gives you such control to either create a really dark brow or a really light brow. That's also why I got the lighter color, medium brown, because I wanted to be able to build. Next, I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Medium Tan Sand. I'm gonna go ahead and put this under my eyes because I'm seeing a little bit of baggage. Right, so I'm just spreading it out like that, as you guys can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and line lightly that area. Tape shape is good too. I feel so like fancy now that I use tape shape, shape tape, tart. I feel so fancy. Like, I was so out of touch with makeup for so long. I was on YouTube and watching so many videos for so long and then I just got off of it. Once I went to aesthetic school, I think that's when I like stopped watching YouTube as much. I started just kind of reading the books that they give you. The books that they would give you would go into detail about like color matching and all these really descriptive things about makeup and I thought that was really helpful. So I stopped looking up YouTube and I would just refer to my aesthetics book, textbook to figure out makeup stuff. Cause I wanted to have more of a professional outlook but you know what you can learn so much from youtube and it's funny too because a lot of videos that we would um watch were instructional videos on youtube on how to do a lot of stuff like waxing and um, certain facial techniques and massage things like and it's like i could do this at home why am i paying you but so i'm gonna go ahead and bake now been my fair I was against baking for the longest time because I was like, that's just too much makeup and I don't want to do that. Look at me now. Let that sit and I'm gonna go ahead. <gasps> I'm excited for this one. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty. It's so, why is it so dirty like that? I just got it. <laughs> Bayesian girl, I think that's how you say that. Oh my goodness. I just imagine like Rihanna saying it whenever I look at the names of Fenty. The coloring of it. It's a little bit lighter than my NYX bronzer, which I'm okay with. I actually really like it. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques, my jacked up brush. Um, this is the powder brush. I'm in love with this bronzer. It's so beautiful. And I'm so late on the train. So, so late. But you know what, to be fair, every single time I would go to buy her stuff, everything would be sold out everywhere I go. I went into Sephora this past weekend and I found something that I was gonna use. And it was funny because <laughs> what I actually wanted to get, the highlight kit, sold out. 
and I was like, well, I'll check online because now with the whole quarantine, we've all gotten pretty used to shopping online as much as we can. And it was sold out online too, the exact one that I wanted. So I'm like, but I know why it's sold out because it is so good. Look at how my face has been bronzed. And it's so buildable. I love that it's matte. That makes it even better. And it's just, it's just gorgeous. I, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose a little bit. A little lot. That bronzer. Mm. Where have you been all my life? It reminds me of that song. Where have you been all my life? You know that song? All my life. Yeah, that's my song to Rihanna when it comes to make. I'm gonna blend this out. That was the Elf Stipple brush, if you're wondering. This is the 126 BH Cosmetics brush. And now we can jump to the eyes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. So, I'm on the late train once again to most everything because I just started getting back into makeup this year. Do not judge me, please. ColourPop, this is the Truly Madly Deeply palette. First of all, I love this pink, I told you. The, the the nude pinks, the bright pinks, like I've been loving these colors lately. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, these are such good transitional colors. You've got your sparkles, you've got some mattes, you've got a variety of different colors. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful those colors are. And they are so pigmented, let me tell you. Not intended for use in the immediate eye area. I'm really confused. What? I'm gonna put on a base layer and I'm gonna use the Milk, the NYX Milk pencil. This is down to a nub, I need to get a new one. Just take my hands and rub this out. I'm gonna go ahead and take a synthetic brush. I'm gonna use the MAC 164S. I'm pretty sure this is a synthetic brush. I'm gonna take that Indio color. It's like so, look at this, look at this. Do you see how much it picks up? So much. This is gonna be a crazy eye look, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! I was supposed to be going to a wedding this weekend. <laughs> I'm so sad. I think I got enough glitter, don't you think? And the fallout is not bad at all. I don't know if you guys can see. Most glitters that I've used, most eyeshadow glitters or whatever that I've used, insane fallout and it's so annoying. So this was so perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and take the MAC 224 brush and I'm going to use the color right underneath Indio right here. It's called Made to Last. That is beautiful. I kind of almost wish that I did that first before. It probably would have been better, but I just was so excited to try the glitter out, so. Oh well. It's not bad though. I love the pink hue to it. Very pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Pretty Cruel to here. And a small brush, this is the MAC 165 brush, and I'm going to use that color underneath my eyes. That's a really pretty color too. That didn't take very long. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes really quick. All right, so there they are. Y'all already know, our Del Wispies, OGs. So now we're gonna go ahead and move to eyeliner. I'm using the Sephora Waterproof eyeliner. I've used this in the past and it is a really great dupe for the Stilla eyeliner. It's literally a fraction of the cost. That's pretty. I like that. I'm gonna take my elf stipple brush and kind of just lightly move the glitter. Okay, so now I'm gonna do blush and highlighter. I'm gonna use the NARS Orgasm Blush. Look at that pretty pink color. I've been missing using this so much and I'm so happy I got it again. I'm taking the MAC 168 blush brush 
gives such a pretty glow. I'm gonna go ahead and use NARS again, and I'm gonna use the Miss Liberty highlight. I'm not too hot about this highlight by itself, but I feel like when I don't want a crazy amount of highlighter, this is the route that I take. I'm going to use the Urban Decay brush. It's very, very light, as you guys can see. It does add that shimmer, but I feel like it's just super light. Can you see that? And I like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics fan brush, Miss Liberty, I'm going to go over here. What's nice about the NARS blush is that it comes with shimmer, so it gives you a highlight on your cheeks as well, so that's also why I decided to use the Miss Liberty highlight because I already kind of have like a nice highlight going on in the cheek area, as you can see. I guess for the camera's sake, I will do lipstick. You guys know how I feel about lipstick. I don't like it, but I'll do it for you. I'm gonna do the Milani, what color is this? Mocha Splash. It's a little bit darker than what I usually do. It gives me a really nice defined lip. Mac Angel. I don't know, I feel like I need something darker. I'm gonna just go ahead and darken around my lip. I think that's a lot better. Yeah, I like that. This needs to last all night long, so I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Definitely very glam. In person, it's like, well, thank you guys for getting dressed with me. I really enjoyed this. I hope that you enjoyed this style of video. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section so I can continue making content that you wanna see. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so because it really helps my channel out and allows me to be able to keep making content for you. So I'll see you in the next video.